or maybe I was the chosen child of God, and that was represented within the blood tests, and they were taking my blood over and over because they were confused. Like no, they were taking they, your they were taking your blood to, to serve it as communion wine. Well, that, but they were also they they were tested like they had known from prophecy that when the blood configuration of a patient is in such a way. It indicates he's... They have sickle cell anemia. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry, I'll stop bringing facts into this. <laughs> so, so when the blood of a patient is in a certain way, it, indi it indicates that he is the chosen child of God, which has been prophesied for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. So they took my blood and it's like, <laughs> hey Steve, look at this. This guy, he's got the chosen child of God blood. And, and then they're like, aha, well, we better take it again just to be safe. And so they take it again and it's like, Steve, this is weird. His blood keeps indicating he's the chosen child of God. And so anyways. Yeah. Or maybe they took it one day and the, the <laughs> lab tech was like drunk or something and <laughs> spilled it all over them. <laughs> or maybe they were cloning you. Yes. <laughs>
come from an, uh, a secret occult background to monitor me and make sure that I do not bring forth the uh, sacred flowering of consciousness throughout humanity in which we will all be connected and our souls will merge with the mother of creation. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I'm not crazy because I had to like say that slowly as I came up with it. Yes, that's <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> up and it's like, but, yeah. yeah so like in this case it might be like there is a girl here I should play guitar I must with. impress her yes <laughs> you are playing guitar with your penis so in, in, in that situation um, you are as much to credit for how well I am playing guitar <laughs> as I am that good in okay. fact you could even say that you are the person playing guitar okay no. <laughs> I is not very smooth. I love you. Do you love I love you.
I tell you something? Mm -hmm. So I think like the second time I went crazy, I was brought to the college Clark Danage. And um, I was brought to the ground floor and um, uh, I was like, okay, I know I'm not crazy, but everybody here thinks I'm crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend to be crazy. That's and, interesting. And see if they notice the difference. But so, you were crazy. Well, eventually I was. <laughs> Anyways. Wait, wait. Do you think you weren't to begin with? There... Okay, my attitude, like, looking back on the past... Yeah, um, like, what do you think now? Now what did you think then? Well, I think what I thought then is important because being closer to the memory, like, gives you a better perspective of it in some sense. Or at least... There, there, okay, but what, what do you think now? I don't know. Okay. But if I can just say, there have been times where, all, actually almost every time I'm taken to the hospital or um, like my parents talk to me and they say, Ben, you're not well, you have to go. Almost every time I'm like, you're wrong. I disagree with them. I don't believe I'm crazy. And then I'm put, taken to the hospital and then they give me like a huge assortment of drugs. Yeah. And then I'm crazy and I'm like, well, you see, yeah, I did go crazy in the hospital, but I also took a bunch of pills of different colors that I didn't know what they did. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, anyway, so I was brought th through assessment and they said, we'll just keep you for the night. And I'm, I was like, okay, so like, if what if I like, pretend to be crazy and will they be able to tell the difference mm -hmm. um so I, I got up on uh like not it wasn't a couch it's like you know those like um metal chairs that are attached to each other mm -hmm. um but they have cu these ones had cushions yeah. on them and so i i like stood on the top of the, or i sat on the top of those and I said, like, I am receiving a message from George W. Bush. <laughs> and, and uh, like, so I started saying that, that I was getting these messages about, like, an, an, an atomic attack or something. And, um, anyways, and I, this is kind of a weak ending, but I don't remember. I can't remember if they were able to tell I was faking or not, but... Well, see, the question of whether or not you're actually crazy and interesting in that case, because if if you were, they could have been all like, okay, well, he's clearly faking that behavior, but also he's crazy. Yeah. But, yeah. Interesting. Uh, I love you. I love you.
lot of mistakes there. What if, like, <laughs> when I did that prank of, like, unfettered messages from George Bush, yeah. and then later they brought me upstairs to the, like, the main, the, like, acute or chronic or whatever ward, like, the, the ground floor is, like, the introduction ward. Yeah. So they bring me upstairs to more long term, and they start asking me if I hear voices. <laughs> <laughs> and I start denying it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also crazy about being crazy.
this bit look wrong? I'm going to in a couple minutes. Does, and it's not too loud? No. Okay. You can also adjust the light. I just need that light up. I'm not being kept awake. Trust me, I'm heading towards sleep. series of nuts and bolts in my head where I used to have hair and now my entire head is just a bunch of screws. Why are you being so obsessed with turning into a robot today? <laughs> when was the other time I turned into You said you were going to turn into a giant robot and kill everybody with lasers. Alright, okay, sorry. No, it's okay. Well, I'm not. <laughs> No, I'm just, I'm just gearing down to, like, I'm putting my brain into, like, idle. Yeah. You, you can say it, then I, then I... I was just going to say, what if there's a little man inside my accordion, and he operates the bellows, Aww. and and he makes the music play? That's how you play your accordion? Yes.
I wish I had a song that was like a lullaby. Oh. Is there anything I'd play that's like a lullaby to me? This is fucking dust kind of.
I will have solved the problem of world hunger. Oh, good. Yeah.